Hey everybody, this is Ori from Master Web, and today I'm going to walk you through a deep dive of Magento cart promotion rules. Uh, we've made videos before about cart promotions and catalog promotions, but today I really wanted to go deeper into it with real world examples. And the reason I want to do this is we've been getting a lot of requests lately about how do I set up a certain type of promotion? I'm confused about conditions, actions, maximums, uh, exclusions, these kind of things. So I wanted to make this example that everybody can see it and understand all these elements better rather than just, you know, for example, reading a document that has very, very basic um, promotions and then trying to figure it out yourself. So I wanted to give you these examples, okay? So let's actually go and walk you through some examples I pre-made for uh, getting in more detail, okay? So the first one uh, that I'm doing right now, I went to marketing cart rules, is buy three, get 10% off with a maximum of three only. So if I buy three quantity, for example, of my product, I'll get 10% off all of those. But if I buy six, I buy 10, I buy 20, I buy 100, I'm still only going to get 10% off the maximum three, right? And that's actually minimum as well, right? So there's, there's a hard limit. There's a limit that applies to this promotion, okay? So what did I do here? I'm going to enable it first of all. I'm going to go here and I basically, I'm going to go to the front end and I added a product right here. Um, and in addition to this, I also made an exclusion. So let me show you what I did here. Okay, so I set up everything normal, normal websites, groups. I didn't use the coupon, but I could if I wanted to. Um, and a time frame that's valid. And under conditions, I said you have to have at least three or more quantity in your cart for it to apply. And the action would be 10%, 10 10% off. And I set up a maximum. This is the key for this specific promotion. Maximum quantity discount is three. So I'm only going to allow you to discount the 10% off three quantities, not 10, not 20, etc. And what I did also is I actually excluded some products. So I wanted to exclude this configurable product with it's simple. So I basically went to my actions and I said, only apply it to products, only apply the 10% off to products that are not one of these. For example, I set up my configurable and simple products. This is a configurable simple product. Um, so when I do this, you'll see that I have, even though I have eight quantity in one, this doesn't get a discount because I excluded it. And um, this one has eight, but I only get three discounts. So 10% off of you know eight of them is 800, but obviously it's only three. So it's basically, you know, 10% off 100 is $10 times three is $30. This is what you see right here. So I hope this makes sense. I'm going to show you a few other examples, but this example has an exclusion. Don't apply it to certain products that are in the cart. We call line items. This is the first line item. This is the second line item. These are basically the products that are in your cart. Um, and then set a maximum to three and give 10% off obviously has to be at least three. So this is a one example that you set a hard limit with an exclusion, okay? So these are real world examples. The second one, let me actually deactivate that. Okay, the second one is the same one but there's no limit, okay? So I can go here and I can say buy three or more and get 10% off. So if I buy three, I get 10% off. If I buy 20, I get 10% off all of those, each and every one. Okay, so I'm going to enable it. And my condition is the same, three quantity items or more. And my action would be 10%, no maximum, right? And I'm still excluding. You don't have to exclude, obviously, but I'm still excluding one of these products. Okay, you can do... A lot of examples are, uh, a lot of times our uh, customers and users of Magento, they basically set up like category is this, or category is one of these, or category is not. Maybe they have an exclusion category, like maybe there's a sale category or a clearance category. They want to exclude that because it's already discounted, for example, with the sale price. So this one is buy three or more and get 10% off. Really simple, three or more and 10 and just the exclusion. So if I do this and I reset, I should get 80% 80 dollars off, right? So 80 because all of these got 10% off. So 800 100 times 8 is 800, 10% of that is 80 and I still excluded this one. Okay? Let's go to the next example. Third example. And the third example here is buy three, get one free, okay? 
And this one also has a maximum limit. So I'm only allowing you to get one free product. If you bought three, you get one free. If you bought six, you still get one free. You bought a hundred, you only get one free. Okay. So I'm going to enable this and let's look at the setup. Setup is the same three or more quantity because it's by three, you know, get one. And then action would be here. I click on apply and I go to buy X, get Y free Buy three, get one free. So how did I do this? What is X? It's right here. Buy three, get one free. This kind of amount is the Y. Okay. Get one free. And what I did is I set a maximum limit to four. So what, what is this for? So first of all, in Magento, when you set up buy X, get Y free. So in this case, buy three, get one free. If the customer adds only three to their shopping cart, the fourth one won't be free. They have to actually, it won't get automatically uh, added. They have to add all four and then one will be free. So it's a little tricky because some sites will add it for you like a free gift or something like an add on product, something like that. But Magento default doesn't have that. So I need to set up my maximum quantity for four. Why is that? Because we set up a maximum in this promotion. You can only get one free product, no matter how many you buy, at least you have to buy three, you get one free. Now the buy X, get Y free. It's from the same product. You, you can't do like buy, um, buy three of these things and get some other product for free. It's always going to be the same product Buy four of these. One of them is going to be free. It's from the same one product. And I have the exclusion as well, obviously. Uh, I want to exclude this product uh, right here. So in this case, buy three, get free. I bought eight, but I'm only going to get one free. So let's look at that. So one free would be 100, okay? So I got one of them. So I'm only paying for seven, actually, okay? Next one. Let's go on to the next one. Let's get a little bit more advanced. Okay, I'm going to disable this promotion. Okay, next one. Now I'm going to do a buy three, get one free, but no limitation. If I buy three, I get one free. If I buy six, I get two free. I buy 30, et cetera. Okay. So let me enable this and let, let me go here. Same total quantity is three or more. The action is buy three, get one free. Okay. And I'm having no limit. If I put a zero, I have no maximum. I can, they can allow them to buy 300 and they'll still get, a, a, they'll still get, you know, one free out of it or a hundred, right? Um, and I still have my exclusion. So let's look at how this applies. Okay. Let's go here. Now, because I'm purchasing eight right here, let's show you one second. Okay. Because I'm purchasing eight, I only get two free because one, if you purchase three, you get one free, six, two free. And then obviously above nine or 10, I get three free. So let's, let me show you, for example, let's do this. Okay, so now let's wait for it to load. Okay, so now I should get three free, right? And et cetera, et cetera, right? Because I have to buy four at a time to get, you know, one free for each one. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Let's go back to eight. Okay, next one. Um, so again, if you have any questions, I'm going too fast, or most importantly, you have a very specific one you don't know how to create, just ask me. Okay, so reference the time slot or just ask your question. I'll be super happy to answer. Okay, next one. So now I'm going to my other promotion. So buy this, the ones before were always about quantity. Now I'm going to uh, the actual total amounts, right? Value. So buy above $100 and get $5 off each product, okay? So I can go here and I can go to actions. And I said, hey, you have to buy above 100. Actually, this should be greater than 100, but in this case, I just did 100 or more. Um, and I go here and I clicked on actions and I'm saying fix amount discount, right? And I'm not specifying uh, the whole cart, just for every product that's in the cart. For example, I have, you know, multiple line items. Every product gets a fixed amount of $5 off, okay? And no exclusions. So if I go here and I click on save, let me just make sure, yep, it's enabled. Okay, so if I do this, I have nine quantity. Each one of them should get $5 off. So if I refresh the page, Okay, so I got, right, I specified I got my promotion. I got $5 each quantity, no exclusions. Okay, now let me go and give you another example. 
sometimes you want to give a discount based on not just each item, but the whole cart. So buy at least above 100 and get $40 off just the whole cart, not per item. So I'm doing, it's a really simple thing, okay? Buy 100 at least and get $40 off. So I did the same thing. It should be greater than 100. And the action should be a fixed amount based on the whole cart, not the actual discount for each item, but th this one is per product. This one is for the whole cart. So I specified the whole cart, $40 off, no exclusions. And now in instead of per item, I should just get a total of $40 as long as I met the threshold. Okay, perfect, we got a $40. Okay, uh, next one. Okay, let me actually disable this. Disable, okay. The last one I wanted to show you, and this is this is a, just a concept itself, is sometimes you wanna exclude, you wanna have the discount based on a certain attribute, not like the product name or the um, SKU or something like that, or a category. Sometimes you wanna have a product attribute. So for example, I can say every Nike shoes, every brand that's Nike gets $50 off, right? So if I went here and I apply the condition, I can specify, for example, right, brand equals, and I can select from one of my attributes. So how do you do that? So when you actually go here, you'll have a huge list of all the attributes that you can create promotions. Now, if you have an attribute, you need to make sure that attribute is actually set to allow promotions. So if I go to brand right here, I'm gonna edit my uh, attributes right here, product attributes and I'm gonna type in brands. If you create an attribute, you want it to be configurable, like color. I can say, for example, for Halloween, all the black products are you know, 20% off. For brands, all the Nikes are 50% off. So if you go here, you can, you can, if you wanna make a promotion based on a product attribute, you go to edit that attribute, okay? And then, sorry, right here. And then you can, you can specify right here, use it in the promotion rule conditions. And if it's yes, if it's yes, then you can actually create a promotion based on that in the cart promotion rule. Uh, so this is what I did. So this is an example, I'm not showing you on the front end. This is an example that you can create things based on the actual attribute, which is really, really nice. You can make cool stuff like size, you know, all mediums are um, discounted all a uh, whatever usage etc all specs that are five inches or more can be used so that's it this is the the end of this video again if i hope you enjoyed this i hope you like going in more detail about these things if you have any questions let me know um thank you again for listening to the videos we'll be making more and more subscribe uh, let me know what you want to uh, what kind of videos what questions you have and uh, just appreciate any feedback the more you can give uh, for the videos uh, how to improve them topics, questions, uh, I'm all ears. So appreciate it, guys.